Hey everyone, Buddy here from Denman Homestead. Today we're going to be putting together the drip irrigation system for the big garden. And you see some trees behind me. It's another project. But we're going to head out to the big garden, get this drip irrigation installed. So this will be buried in the ground about uh, I don't know, four inches or so. To... Four inches or so. <laughs> I don't have a microphone. Okay, this is going to be buried in the ground about four inches or so, the, ho the whole pipe all the way down. But this is where the water hose spigot's going to be so that we have a water hose connection for the chickens or to fill up a bucket or whatever it might be. This down here is where the water water hose is going to come in from our well house and right now i think we're just going to run a water hose temporarily until maybe we get a permanent uh fixture of pipe over here for this connection and i left this pretty long stub out so we can cut it off and fasten it to actual pipe if we need to um, what's going to be coming out of the ground because this pipe will be buried and this nozzle like about this from from the from the uh, valve the shutoff valve up will be coming out of the ground and we'll be able to turn off each line if we need it if we have pressure issues or whatever we can turn off each line um, but here is another water hose connection now none of this is glued it's just pieced together right now so I can make sure it's doing what I want it to here will be the adapter for the barb, uh, barb that goes on to the drip irrigation line. So it'll just be a water hose to, to half inch barb adapter right here and on the end of every single one of them. So once this gets in the ground and um, you know we cement it all together, then this is phase one. Phase two will be running the half inch irrigation line down every single uh, row. And then the last phase is quarter inch irrigation line that runs from the half inch up to every plant at the base of every plant where the little drip head is going to attach. So let's look at it from this point of view so they can see. Please excuse our tarps and our sheets. Um, so each row will have its own shutoff valve uh, and irrigation line all the way down. So that's the plan. And then he put a cap at the end of this one. So uh, what we plan on doing with this is being able to take this off and blow out the line during the winter to winterize it so it doesn't uh, crack and break. But yeah. So it looks really good so far. I, I, I'm now being able to see your vision because sometimes it's you've got something going on and I can't really yeah. follow until I see it. But yeah, I like it. Good job. Thanks. Okay. Well, we're going to get ready for lunch and then we're going to pick, pick this back up when we uh, come back. Okay, we just got back from lunch and I started to trench and I could already tell that I was curving out towards the garden. So I went ahead and ran a string line and put some paint down. So now I've got red paint in a perfect line coming from the spigot. So I'm gonna start trenching. Trench is complete all the way to the end. Pretty straight now that I actually did it correctly. But uh, I'm gonna get the garden hoe and I'm just gonna clean this trench out, make it a little easier to work with. And then we'll start gluing pipe and laying it down. All right, first little section is done. It's attached to the 4x4 and it's ready to go down the trench. I tied off a little plastic baggie to the water hose spigot just to 
make sure I'm not getting any dirt up in there while I work on this. But now it's just time to uh, take apart glue and reassemble all the way down the line. And then we'll start covering it back up. Um, okay, so this is a primer. So it cleans and gets the glue ready for the PVC. And this is the cement. So you do the primer on there first, get everything cleaned and ready for the cement, and then you go over it with the cement, and now you've got a permanent connection on here. So that's why we put everything together first, because you don't want to start gluing and then realize you didn't have what you needed. Gotcha. So I'm going to build out yeah, I should probably wear gloves because this purple stuff will stain you. Mm. But I'm going to start building out the sections, getting them put together, and then Steph's going to start laying it all out. So we'll start with the spigot. Nice. Okay, I went ahead and glued up all of my row uh, stubs, like, come out. And I went ahead and put my first one on. And you can kind of see, I probably could have started with that, the initial pipe a little bit longer, but I'm going to make it to where just the shut on the shut off valve on each line is uh, showing from the ground, and the rest will all be buried. And uh, I'm gonna start. Start on all the other ones. Everything is set and glued. Main connection, shut off valves for every line. And I know it may seem overkill, but I've never done a project like this. And I don't know what pressure is going to do, it's like water pressure. And my brain is, my, my brain is telling me that it's going to uh, divide itself e evenly, but I have no idea. I'm not a plumber, I've never done an irrigation system. I just thought this would work after researching other drip irrigation systems, so. Yeah, shut off valves on everyone just in case. Worst case scenario, we water one, one row at a time, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna cover up those caps with some plastic and start raking this trench back in. Okay, so we are finding the right pressures. It, I, I don't know. You think the valve, the valve being on it is actually kind of crucial, huh? Messing around with how much pressure yeah, comes out. I think, I think it is. So, if we open it more, see that one's just a trickle now. So we're going to have to mess around with the pressure. Yeah. And it is, right now for our test, it's running through three different water hoses connected. I don't know how much that's affecting it, but... I mean, it's working. It's working, uh... I don't want to say better than I thought, but... It's, uh, there's water coming out of every single pipe. And we don't need a lot of pressure because it's a drip irrigation system, but we need to make sure that the water flows through all of them. And some of them aren't getting water or something like that. And it looks like playing around with the valves and opening it just a, a slight bit more at the back and less at the front is allowing a steady stream of water from all lines. Okay, well, that's something.
So after the initial test showed successful, I went around to every one of them, put some plumber's tape and, uh, and these um, adapters that go from three quarter inch garden hose to half inch irrigation hose. I added that to every single one of them. All right, we're gonna wrap up the drip irrigation system process. Today, I'm gonna to show you, it, it's time consuming. It is definitely time consuming, but I'm gonna show you essentially how it works because I just finished the first row. It probably took me two hours, two and a half hours um, to do one row. So time consuming, but it works. I'm pretty proud of myself. So essentially what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this half inch water, water hose, water pipe, and I'm gonna run it the length of the row, and then we're gonna cut it. So now we're at the end. Got the hose ran all the way, and I'm just going to tuck that in there for right now to hold it. And then we'll come up here and we'll cut it. Here at the end, we're gonna pull it until it's fairly tight, not super tight, but we want to save as much of this hose as we can. And now we will cut it. Okay. And now that we got our length ready to go, this is the uh, half inch barb connection. So it basically screws in, oops, screws in like a water hose on that side. And this side shoves onto the half inch barb and you just push it far as you can get it in there and then this twists up to lock it in place I'm gonna have to use two hands now this is this little twist thing is twisted up I just held this in place while I twisted it and it is in there and locked that's what you want now I'm going to go down this row and I'm going to pull up the weed fabric spikes like this one pull this up these little u sticks like this i'm gonna lay my hose back over it and then put it back down again like so i'm gonna do that all the way down so it looks nice and straight there will be some spots as you're going down your row there will be some spots like this that kink up, but if you leave this hose out in the sun a couple hours before you start working, it's super pliable. So you can just straighten it back out, smash it, smash it into a circle again, and uh, keep on rock and rolling. Gimli is stuck. So I'm going to go rescue the goat. My mom's walking over there. Let's see if I can help her. Okay, Gimli is rescued. Back to the project. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. At the end of this row, which I think should work, but obviously we have to cap it off. I did not think ahead and buy like special caps, but I think I have a solution. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to melt it and clamp it. That's what's gonna close it off. Should work. Not 
try and get it high enough on the pipe to where it's not I'm not getting melted plastic all over my clamps okay Hopefully that does it I hit it a little bit more where it's clean This is how we are going to keep the water from coming out the other end. Leave that clamp on there for a while. Okay, this is where we start getting into the kind of time consuming part. I have a hole punch tool. It's got that little needle on it and the little barb that will go in the hole. And we are at our first plant here. So, right directly down from the plant, I'm going to put a hole. Making sure not to go through both sides. Spin it around a little bit. And pop it out. It's only so deep, so you shouldn't have a trouble. You shouldn't have trouble not stabbing to the other side, but just be careful, just in case. These guys can be a little bit of a pain because you can pop them in fairly easily, like that. But they got to go over that over that uh, little ridge right there to be seated properly. And if you start just pushing down, it hits the bottom of the hose. <laughs> So what I've found is that with one hand, I have to smash the hose like that. And with the other hand, I have to push down. But you will hear a satisfying click once it's snapped into place. And there you go. It is in. All right, now let's go to step two or three or five, whatever. The next step is we're gonna take our quarter inch pipe. This is the small and it's gonna go to, directly to the plant. You're gonna measure out the distance from your barb to the base of your plant. I've measured mine out on a whole bunch of them already so I kind of know just by looking at it I need about this much. Once you get the amount you need, you chunk. There you go, that's gonna be our line. So now before we do anything to this line, we're gonna put the sprinkler head on. And this is a barb, just like we just put in that half inch piping. And you're just going to shove it all the way up in there. And I bought all this stuff not really knowing if it was gonna work. I think I spent probably $200 on everything so far. Which, I mean, the amount of water you save and time, I think it's gonna be worth it, but I'll put links to everything that I purchased uh, in the description. So once it's on, that's when you wanna go ahead and adjust your nozzle. Now, I know just from playing around with it that I wanna pretty much take it all the way closed, screwing it down to where nothing, no water's coming out, and then I wanna back it off about two full turns and that has generally been what I found the bubbler setting that just bubbles out the top. So let's go connect this end to that hose that we put a hole in. Okay, we'll go ahead and put this, we wanna put it not up and down, which I learned, Steph pointed this out earlier, that it's, it's better when it's coming at, when it's at an angle because the water tends to run off instead of trying to run down this pipe. So we're gonna put it at the base of the plant, pretty deep in there, a little bit of an angle. Then we're gonna take our hose, and we're going to shove it down on that barb that we put the hole in. That's essentially what you do to every single plant. Turn the water on, adjust the nozzle to the right drip, so now let's take a look at the first row that I have already 
completed and it is dripping all of these plants right now are being watered and you could never tell unless you got right up on it look at that so i've had to pretty much go plant to plant and adjust the nozzle here's one here's a good good example this one right here is not dripping out very much so i'm going to crank this a tad bit open now we have a much steadier stream which is what i want steady drip stream just like all these other ones and that's it that's how we're going to do our drip irrigation system. So before we wrap this up, I'm just gonna show you essentially what I did from the ground up. Not knowing if it was gonna work, but it's working. So this is a water hose connection with our water hose on it right now. Now eventually this will be pipe ran into the well house, connected directly to it. I'm also going to put, today I think I'm gonna put another, a secondary shutoff valve on the main line. That way we can turn off the water to the irrigation system and just use the water hose if we need to. Then I put a, a stub out of the pipe with a shutoff valve at, at the end of every single row um, now these will potentially be trip hazards. Steph and I are kind of coming up with what we want to do. Maybe extend the garden row out to come right up to the nozzle. Put little wooden signs in there. Kind of showing what is on each row to block people from tripping over it. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. But from the nozzle, now you have a standard water hose connector. And then you have a water hose to half inch pipe connector. And you have the half inch pipe run all the way down. And then you have quarter inch barb running to the dripper. And this one needs to be opened up a tad bit. There we go. And the dripper is at the base of the plant. So none of your leaves are getting wet, which is what you don't want to happen. You don't want your leaves getting wet. If you can help it, all of the water is going directly on to the base of the plant. So that is the project. And one row down, I took you along with me to start the second row. Um, and then we'll just knock out the rest. And we're done. We have a drip irrigation system on the big garden. And it really, other than just, you know, me not really know what I'm knowing what I'm doing as far as, I don't know, plumbing, water pressure, all that stuff. Other than that, it's working. It's working well. And I am kind of surprised. Uh, that it's working so well but that's how we did it and you know I looked up a bunch of irrigation systems like pre-built systems that just kind of come turnkey I looked at people making custom ones watched a bunch of videos on that and it did teach me a lot about how this stuff works but nothing was really what I wanted I hadn't a concept of what I wanted for our garden with that giant manifold and shut off switches for every row and uh i just did it you know i didn't know if it was gonna work but i did it it's working great thank you so much for watching um it isn't a hard project anyone could do this project but it is very time consuming um but yeah that's the irrigation system that's the drip irrigation system so Thank you very much for checking out this project and uh, my finger is in front of the camera. See you on the next one. Later.